Well, good evening, everybody. Here I am again, um, continuing the marathon. Tonight, I decided to do something a little bit different. Um, tonight, I would like to work on some green stuff crafting. So, what is green stuff crafting, really? I I've been taking a class, and this class is teaching me how to sculpt miniatures using green stuff. Now, of course, this package here is stuff, but pretty much what you do is you mix these two together and you roll them together in equal parts and they dry in the air. But you can manipulate them before they dry. That's the great part. One of the things I use is I use, uh, oh, excuse me, what's the name of this? Um, forgetting the name, it's uh, Vaseline. I use Vaseline to keep my to keep my fingers and to keep the the clay or the uh, the green stuff keep it moldable because otherwise it's too t it's too almost brittle. It's hard to move. It's hard to sculpt with. You need to use a little bit of Vaseline um, on your fingers, not too much, otherwise it's just a mess. But you need to use a little bit. And so, I hope you enjoy the uh, nice calm music I have. It's going to be a calm night. It's not going to be a crazy club night. I guess I will take requests if you really, really want. Um, but otherwise, yeah, it's going to be nice and calm, and I really hope you enjoy tonight's stream. So, just one moment, I'm going to double check that I am live. Because I'm noticing it looks like I'm not, which is so odd. Oh, there we are. Okay, lovely. Well, so, shoot, um, here is the stuff that we're going to work on tonight. Um, tomorrow I have a class. Um, it'll be my last class to finish sculpting these two miniatures. And so I will be sculpting. Uh, tonight I'm going to be working on this guy's uh, gun. You can see here that his gun isn't quite formed yet, so we're going to work on creating the uh, what it looks like. You can see that I'm, I have some Google uh, searches going on right now, trying to see what kind of shape and what kind of style of gun I want to make. And then we're going to try to mold it um, and create this. So we've already got the barrel pretty much done. We're not going to work on this guy tonight. I think I'm going to get some help with this guy uh, tomorrow during my class and try to finish him off because he got his head flattened a bit in, uh, in the box when I was carrying him back home. And so we have to change him from being a friar to uh, being a normal kind of dude, not just like a, uh, well, like a, a, a friar. Or what, what, what are the other guys? What's that guy from Street Fighter? Guile, I think his name was. Yeah, we don't want to be like that either. But um, yeah, these are the two guys we're working on. Um, but we're not going to work on this guy tonight, so I'm just going to move him out of the way. The other thing we're going to work on is creating... Um, flaming skulls. Now, the last time I created a flaming skull, actually, let me go grab the flaming skull so you can see what I'm talking about. Here we go. So last time, I sculpted a flame skull, and I didn't have much time. I, my players were playing, um, we were finishing up the module, uh, Lost Minds of Fendelver, and I needed to find a way to, <laughs> well, the flame skull was one of the big, the big uh, bosses that they could go against, really. Like, it was really... A big issue they had to really be able to uh, go against this boss and it was going to be throwing fire so I wanted to make an actual miniature because I like using miniatures with my players they love it um, and I love it that's why I'm always trying to get new and more miniatures um, and so I had about I don't know a few hours and I said okay what can I do and I took a knife just uh, like a regular like one of these bad boys and I cut a circle 
out of some regular foam, packing foam. And then I began sculpting the best I could. And this is my first ever crafted miniature, the flame skull. I crafted this guy here and then I uh, glued tissue paper to his head and, and tried to paint it to be like it was flaming. And well, my players couldn't stop laughing. They, they call him Carrot Top. And they really like this guy. They couldn't defeat him. I mean, they got him down, but they 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 got him like they got his fire out. But then they tried to crush his skull, but they found out they couldn't crush it. They couldn't do anything to it. They were, they were sure it's going to come back and haunt them. Will it? Maybe we don't know. So this is the flaming skull that I first made. This is the very first. A miniature that I've sculpted. We're going to upgrade that today. We are going to sculpt creating a mold from this skull here. I love this skull that I found. I got this at the pyramids in uh, Teotihuacan in Mexico City or just outside of Mexico City and this has a lot of really great skulls. So I looked for a skull that was kind of small enough that uh, was yeah small enough to be like almost like a at least uh, maybe a giant skull or kind of a kind of a giant skull because it's a bigger skull than I guess a regular humanoid maybe twice the size and that's fine because you know this thing is going to be facing them and it's magical so it doesn't have to be a, a regular skull that's flaming uh, that would be quite tiny probably and I like to scare the players anyways so actually my girlfriend came up with this incredible idea um, she came up with the idea that we could Use a hot glue gun, da, 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 put it on top of here, and create a mold with the hot glue. Lo and behold, when she tried to make the mold, it worked. We have a mold for a skeleton, or a skull rather. So, we're going to be trying to sculpt some flaming schools from this mold that she created earlier for me um, later tonight once I finish the gun because the gun for me is more important tomorrow's my last class um, and so I really I want to I, I have to finish all the min I have to finish the miniatures but I'm gonna try to get this gun done so I, I don't have to worry about it and the teacher can help me with some finishing touches and fine details and then Voila, we are finished, and then I have to, I'll be on my own to start making more miniatures. Although, my teacher did say he'd be happy to work with me and create new miniatures or monsters anytime I wanted. Um, and we even talked about possibly creating a Kickstarter to create more of these guys. Um, this is a guy from, from the campaign that's on Sunday. He's one of the players. He has, of course, he's missing an arm right now, and that's because he has a magnet in his arm. And this magnet connects to this arm. So he is a warlock with his patron is Sabrina, a, a goddess or a deity of fungi and death and life. And so she gives him this power that transformed his arm into like almost like Hulk thing, but it's like a fungus power to Hulk uh, arm. And so it's, it's huge, right? It's just huge. And the thing I love about the magnet is that you can move it around. Like I didn't even think about this when they first started. Like. Oh, there he is, he's scratching his bum again. Geez, why is he always doing that? But this was the original pose that we created. And I never imagined, like we sculpted first the whole arm, and then we cut the arm off. And re-sculpted it, but put the meg inside the arm, as well as inside uh, his shoulder. This one is his normal hand. His normal hand will have a magnet put in tomorrow, and we'll finish that hand up. And this hand will be reaching for his powder pouch so he can uh, blow somebody's head off, I suppose, when he's shooting or fighting. So, that's what we're going to work on today. Go ahead and get this guy out of the way a little bit. And I'm going to do a quick little share. Get this guy here just because he's funny looking. What kind of tools will we be using? Well, now we're working on fine details. So, normally I use this tool here. 
a nice little tool, right? Now this tool here is, oh goodness, let me go ahead and get the focus right. All right, this tool here is great for, uh, well, it's kind of like making sure you're flattening out, spreading the, spreading the, the putty out. This is more for also for shaping. Now, of course, uh, my teacher he has tools that are made for smaller things, which is what I should have. These are for clay. This is for clay sculpting, but they still work because they have sharp edges, right? So I can create fine details. And if I really want to make a really sharp edge, I can use, say, a needle or something like that to really like work on the eyes or something like that. Or do some really fine etching or details. Um, but I have these little tools here that I I possibly will use tonight. I also got this out. I don't know if I'll use it, but it's something that could give some like texture. See that? So I could give some texture if I want to work on some texture tonight. Like maybe like for the barrel of the gun or something like that for wood. Um, but I'm thinking it might be polished wood. I haven't really thought about how this gun is going to. Uh, look exactly that's one of the first things i need to work on tonight is figuring out what does this gun look like and does it have any special features about it so that's the first thing we're going to be doing tonight is figuring out what this gun looks like and then try to design it now let me go ahead and i'm going to go ahead and share this stream real quick one more time Let's see here Okay, there we go. Excellent. we go all right There we go. Excellent. All right, there we go. Now I'm back. 
I had to do a few things to share some things on social media and take care of something real quick. Here we're back. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do, see, I'm not sure if I'm gonna, this is the music I want. I might want to record it a little bit. That's better. Maybe Winterfell. I wonder if this will be it. Yeah, I like that. It gives me kind of a better vibe. Yeah, that works. Okay, well, let's go ahead and uh, let's do this. Who knows? Maybe somebody new will pop in today. Could be really interesting to meet some new people. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what gun we're going to use. Let's go ahead and make this screen bigger. And I'm not just going to make it bigger. I'm going to spread it out so you can see more of it. Here we go. All right, so here's our search. Let's go ahead and figure out what kind of gun we really want to craft here. Now I had a picture on my phone. I'm gonna see if I can look that up real quick. Hmm, where did that go? Let's see if I because I was using this picture earlier to as a reference. And that's really important. You need to have a reference sometimes, especially when you're sculpting a reference, unless you're like a pro who can memorize things and just take things down from memory. You need to have some kind of reference to let you know heck you're sculpting what to focus on all right I was looking up old handguns I'm trying to find something that's kind of simple but kind of not so we're looking for a flint lock uh, a flint lock, if you don't know what that is, that is a type of gun that needed to have the barrel and you have to stuff the powder inside the barrel. So you have the gun, you have the, some powder, you stuff the powder and you kind of stuff it in there and then you put the bullet on top. And when you click the trigger, it creates a spark which launches the magic powder and launches the bullet. So that's what we're working on right now. We need to find a gun, maybe something kind of like, uh, maybe something kind of like this, perhaps. Um, let's see. But we want to have it fun for the player, of course, and make it look really cool. Um, so this player, where did he get the gun? He won it in a game of cards, pretty much, by a game of chance that he, I think he was cheating in. Um, in Waterdeep. And so, there's no guns in this world. This is a very nice prize. He got really lucky as his player, got really lucky when he got this uh, weapon. Uh, because, well, shoot, um, he got really lucky because he uh, was playing with a person from another planet, pretty much. He was playing with a person from the multiverse who came down in their uh, craft and came to visit and trade in um, Waterdeep. So this is a kind of a, a pirate age kind of gun. It uses a kind of like a magic, it's a black powder, but it's made of a, kind of like almost uh, magic powder, kind of like a lava dust or fire elemental dust, something like that. And so now he's like looking for how to get all the ammo and everything else because he doesn't know. He didn't even know how to use a gun. This person gave it to him and had a book with weird like language. He couldn't read it. Nobody has been able to read this language. It's an unknown language. Um, and he's just been following the pictures to figure out how to use it and then uh, tinkering with it, taking it apart, putting it back together again, figuring out the different parts of it so he can figure out how to craft it. Now he's gotten far enough, high enough a level that he's figured out how to put it together, take it apart, things like that. So he'll be able to fix it and things like that if he really needs to. Whew. 
lucky him, right? So right now he wants to actually make a bigger one, but I told him it's going to take him about five or six months if he wants to make something because he's going to be inventing new technology. Um, so that will take six months to possibly even a year. Um, I think for what he wanted, he wanted to make like a kind of a shotgun kind of thing, or no, a rifle, a sniper. He was going to have to going to have to practice or study that thing and put it together for quite a long time. Um, so he gave up on that idea for now. And of course, it would take a lot of gold. But eventually, I, I'm, he's going to get it, of course. But that's not important for this guy. This guy has a handgun. And it's already got started. You can see it's already started here. Let me go ahead and focus even closer. Here's the start of the handgun. So we got the barrel. We got the trigger, the fingers going on. We're starting to get some of the detail that goes around here. But what we need to do is find a picture that kind of will match that. Let me see here. Old handgun, medieval. That's what I looked up last time. I think I was using something like this. This is kind of what I was using as a reference point. Let's see here. This one looks kind of cool. Let's see. Bubble barrel, okay. Away. Weird. Okay. And let's see here. Hmm. I like this one. is a pretty a decent representation I think there we go All right so now we have an idea I think I think this is a good decent decent gun right here to be a good one I like the, the, the texture on it. It has nice texture. I quite like this one. Actually, this is the one we were working on earlier because I like the handle of this one. This one had like a really nice handle. Um, and so that's one of the reasons why I like this one here. So I'm thinking, hmm. Okay. I'm probably going to end up cutting this off at the end. But that's not going to be a big deal. They're almost identical, yeah? They're almost identical, but they have kind of a fancy... We're not going to be able to do the fancy trigger thing, but maybe this one doesn't even really matter because it's like fancy trigger uh, guard, the finger guard. I, wouldn't, I won't be able to sculpt that most likely. It's just it's so, such a small detail. Um, it'd be really hard to sculpt it. That's something that you could probably do on, a say, a 3D printer. Um, something I do hope to get uh, maybe in the next few months. Uh, I think that's going to be my next big goal, is to try to get a 3D printer. Um, 
and start making miniatures and using them to print like say the heads because the heads the faces are hard I, i'm not very good at doing this my teacher had to do both faces for me here are the two faces that he's done and yeah he does quite well i think though that if i could get a a printer i could make them like so much more detailed and have so much more control and i would like that and then i could just use the glue and and put them together in pieces and that's okay and as, as well as for the hands and any weapons um, i could design weapons and print them oh my gosh that would be amazing i think that's going to be my next big goal is try to, uh, to fundraise for a printer so i can start printing terrain and miniatures anyways let's get this stuff started i think we've we've got this picture that we need now we're going to use well let's see here Okay, we're gonna use we we'll probably add something to the design on the bottom if we want to later and add, make it like interesting I think we could do that easily I might do that add some something on the bottom and give it some kind of like a some kind of mold almost like this that could be kind of fun but that's not gonna be the focus now I think I think now we should be looking at how to do this here. I'm just trying to think of the shape right now. What do I need to add to the shape that we want? I think this is a nice one. I also like how these, uh, how there's the, the, the little the plunger, I mean, it's not a call, the plunger, of course, I can't remember what it's called. But how that is so equalized with the gun, because it may, that'll be easier to sculpt and it won't break so easily. And that's an important thing to think about as well. I think we're going to go with this style here. Oh, flint lock pistol, man-made object. All right, excellent. Go ahead and make sure we need it. All right, so this is what we're designing right here. What we're working on. I'm going to make it nice and big for me. All right, there you go. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Let's get to work on this thing. I'm ready now. Enough talking. Right. So here's where we're going to get now. It's really important when you're doing green stuff, um, and especially when you're starting to do more details, that you you scope and you use tiny little pills, right? You don't want to have a bunch. And my teacher has a cat or a dog, and so there's always these hairs and stuff. So I'm going to make sure I get those off. Hair drives me crazy. I, I really hate it. <laughs> All right, let's get here. Let's get this thing out. I've been using this. I've been using this stuff for a while, so it's it's getting kind of old looking. But yeah, what we're gonna do now is we're going to mix it with the yellow. It should be equal amounts. You don't want to do too much. Why? Because it'll dry up before you get the chance to use it. Because you're gonna be using little bit by little bit. You're not going to be using like a ton. I, I like to do it because I I don't have patience. I want to just 
throw it on there and glob it together and try to form it all together, it doesn't work that well. Um, the best way to do it is to get the green stuff um, in the small little amounts. And then when you need more, make more. So the cool thing about this is it stays nice until you need to use it, until you mix it with the blue stuff. Until you mix the blue and the yellow. Once that happens, they are going to start drying up quickly. Not too quickly. It takes, uh, I don't know, about 10 and 15 minutes or whatever to get really fully dry. And then, I guess, for a day or something like that to finish, we're going to add a little bit of Vaseline. Vaseline's important when you're working with uh, green stuff. Vaseline keeps it uh, malleable. Go. There we go. This is starting to get a little bit sticky. I've had this for a while now. For a couple of months, actually. I've been working with this few things right here. There we go. I think that's enough. I'm just going to take a little bit off here. Hello, whoever's uh, just jumped in the stream. Feel free to say hello and send a message. I, I love chatting. I can see your messages on the stream. I got the chat up here. I'm going to dip my finger in the Vaseline a little bit and rub it in here so it's easy to mix. Now let's get some of the blue stuff. I get roughly the same amount, right? Right now it's not the same amount. We need a little bit more, a little bit more uh, blue. It's hard to get more blue than it is yellow. I don't know why. Whenever I, I reach for this stuff, I always get, I think, more yellow than I do blue. All right, now we're going to mix it together. All right, so as we're mixing it together, we're just going to keep mixing it, twisting it, turning it over into each other, squeezing it until it turns green. That's why they call it green stuff. Yellow, blue makes green. Woohoo! That's the only color mixing color theory that I really know actually is yellow and green or yellow and blue make green and it really does in this case you can see it's starting to get green we want to keep mixing this until it gets fully green and there's no blue or yellow left that's when it's ready to start sculpting all right hmm let's try a little bit different music um what do you suggest any suggestions for the music tonight? Let's see. Medieval fantasy music, market, mix of Game of Thrones music. Right now we're in doing Game of Thrones music. Winterfell, Snowfall, at Dusk. Okay. Okay. That's nice. Can you even hear the music? There you go. Now you should be able to hear the music. So we're going to do a little bit of a uh, classical for now. It's going to be very classical. Um, because, I don't know, I, I feel like in a calm mood tonight. And I'm going to be just chilling out with you guys here uh, as we do this. Yeah, I can delete all this here. There we go. Don't need that either. This you could use later. Pistol we could use, so I'm going to keep that up for reference because we could use that for styling, styling and creating more details. All right, let's get this here. Oof, that's a little bit too much Vaseline, but it'll be good anyways. Okay, you're all good, I think. Here we go. Looking pretty green to me, yeah? I think this is green. You can see it's got a lot of bass, it's kind of shiny right now. That's okay. It's, now it's done nice and malleable, so I can actually move it around and, and do fun stuff with it. So, what do I do with this? I need... First, I'm going to cover the Vaseline so I don't dump something into it or make a mess. 
And I'm going to get... Oh... Can I get... I use this here, this little sheet of thing. To put the... Uh, I'm going to put the green stuff on there so I don't lose it. Because it's really easy to lose sometimes. Now, what part of this guy are we going to work on? One thing we have to be really careful with uh, when you're working at the miniature, and I'm making this mistake all the time, you really have to make sure that you don't touch the miniature, especially if you've just molded it, because then you're going to get fingerprints. And those suck. Those are really not fun. You have to smooth it out over and over again, just keep smoothing it. Because um, you want to make sure everything looks smooth and, and kind of natural. So we're going to take... This looks like a little bit, but we're going to take even less, probably. Depends on what part of the game we want to work on. Now, I think... Let's see, should we work on it from the front to the back? From the back to the front. Huh. You can see this part. This is uh, actually the middle part of the gun where you can see that like a kind of a middle part that's what that's for i think i'm going to try to work on the front of the gun here i'm going to put this here i'm probably i probably don't even need all of this probably just half of it actually take it back there i just have this little bit of mount here just a tiny bit not a lot and we're going to make it into a tiny little pill. Put it here on the edge of the gun. Now, let's start shaping it. Oh my god, a penis gun. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. I have made a penis gun. Look out, guys! This thing is ready to blow. Let's try that again. Um, I'm gonna flatten it this time. Now, I don't mind having the little bit of extra because what I want to do what I want to do is I want to uh, I want to use this part to create the, uh, the stick as well Now, one of the things that's important, why it needs Vaseline, and sometimes the tools do too. Um, why? Because the green stuff will stick to it. It likes to stick to things. So make sure your tool has, any tool you're using, has a little bit of Vaseline on it too. Otherwise, uh, it'll stick to it and you don't want that. You want these tools, for example, to be able to just smooth things out. Move this camera a little bit. You're getting a front view. You see exactly what I'm looking at here. Gosh, I'm running out of 
this space on my F drive. Give me one moment. I'm recording this video. And so I think I, what I have to do is I need to delete some of the videos from the stream recordings. Right now, this is live recording. And each time I live record, it goes straight to this uh, hard drive. I think... Let's see here. Two hours, 27. There we go, that should free up a little bit of space. There we go. Wow, five hours and 33 minutes, that was a long one. Okay, five hours video. It must have been when I was doing not another TPK. So what I'm doing right now is I'm clearing up some uh, disk space because I've, I'm using quite a bit. Let's see here, I think I'm just going to probably get rid of this one too. help up a little bit. That should free up some space. There we go. I shouldn't be so bad. Oh my gosh, just 1.6 gigabytes free? That's insane. What did I put in the F drive? Ah, I had a documentary there. Okay, I see. I see what we got going on here now. Okay. All right. I got some programs running, so I wonder how I'm surprised my stream's running so well. And get rid of All right, we are back. Sorry about that. I had to clean out some space on my uh, hard drive because I'm recording a video right now. And gosh, yeah, I'm recording a video and it's it's going directly in high definition to my hard drive um it's a it's a big hard drive of course it has like 400 it's five five gig but yikes it's filling it up quite quickly and it was just warning me it's like hey you're running out of space you better get, uh, clean this up a little bit i think i've cleaned it up enough it has i have three gigabytes left on that on this drive so what i'm gonna have to do is make sure i upload all the videos to youtube and get them out of there. All right. Well, let's get back to it. Now, I like I lost my screen for the reference. How did that happen? Be here. Where did it go? Not there. Is it here? Post. It disappeared. Well, well, gosh, that's so strange. Okay.
stop working. Can I move that? And we're going to add it again so you can see what gun we're working on. This will help. There we go. That is so weird. It's not working now. It seems that something broke when um I had to turn off my when I had to turn off my downloading service because it was I forgot to turn it off and it restarted the computer. Oh well, let's continue. So I have this picture here that I can use. I'm just gonna use that, I suppose. Maybe I can uh, get the picture up for you. See what I can do. That's what I can do. I'm just going to take a picture. Here we go. Excellent. And take this picture. Okay, let's add that picture. Here we go. And here we are. Hey. This is what we're working on right now. Okay, these screens out actually. I'm gonna keep it for myself. And let's go ahead and no, we'll keep this music. I think the music's all right. I have three people hosting me right now. NPC Bree. Bloody Jackal and RPG Emerald, thank you so much for auto hosting me. I really, really appreciate it. Also, a shout out to um, Geek Girl Bookworm. She just subbed, or yesterday, subbed for three months. That blows me away. So thank you so much. All right, let's get to this. Oh, the magnet arm. Always grabbing onto this. Get on this before it gets hard. I think I might have actually made too much here. Actually, this is way too much, probably. Maybe. Get that plane open. I still can't believe that I now I'm at 2,305 views. Awesome. And 265 followers. I would really love to get to 500 followers before the end of the year. That would be so amazing. Or even more, it would be amazing, of course. But yeah, it would be so cool. All right, we still got some flexibility here. Let's make this happen. What we're working on now is. This. Same. like a penis shaped head on the gun, right? I'm gonna have the same diameter. Oh, you can't see that. Excuse me. Now you can see it. Make sure it's the same kind of diameter all over. Make sure. to do with this I want to drag it in metal tools a little bit harder right what we're gonna try to do is we're gonna try to create this kind of a little barrel thing maybe a little bit more difficult I think we can do it it's gonna go all the way down to here it needs to be like a barrel. You just stay. Let's 
sorry. And it didn't work. Did I roll it? Be really, really. Okay, there we go. this out. In the count. Right. Good point for you guys. Even better for me. Tiny bit. You'd be the, like the edge of it, right? Little tiny top part of the thing. Even this is too much. Maybe I could make it into like this little thingy. Show in here. Flatten it out. Hey, oh, got it. Got some grease fingers. That's too big. Get half of that. Try it again. It looks like it's one line by this piece. To try to, oh, well, that didn't work. Um, hmm, it's not working. So, my teacher, when they was teaching me how to do this, he told me it should be from the one piece all together and I formed it into it. But gosh, he can do almost anything, he can do magic with this stuff. This is we're pretty new to it. Get a better angle for you. That's a better angle. Right now, what I'm trying to do is try and do the front nozzle. Being a little bit tricky.
I want it to look even on all sides. And I don't want it to look like a penis head. That's the biggest goal of right now. I'm trying to make it not look like the head of a penis. Not be cool. Sir, my player. When I show him, ta-da, here's your character, your gunslinger. And he's like, why am I holding a penis gun? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think that would go over well. Everybody always already makes fun of him with his character sometimes. Because he has fungus on his shoulder. And he literally does. He has this like fungus on his shoulder. His mushrooms. And so he like smells a lot. So the group, like the players in the game, they always like to make fun of him. So let's see here. We still need to get it looking. Found. Move it out. I think we need to make it flatter. Got too much of a curve. Okay, too bad so far, I think. I'm in there. Be flatter, sure. <sighs> patience, patience, patience.
ahead and try to make these little pieces. Go on the gun here. Part that I'm working on now is the kind of the, the, the mechanism for the the gun. It's gonna be really tricky. Really tricky. I do this actually. Oof. Let's try to make the whole side piece. Got it off now. Oh, I just working this up. Draw some details in there later, but just push up, push it up. Little clicking mechanism, you can see. Right? So cool. That's not so bad there, yeah. A little bit detailed. Let's see what we got.
does that look? Big boy? Now, see if we can draw some little designs in this. For that, I think I'm going to need one more tool. Before we can draw any kind of designs, we're really going to have to uh, flatten it out and smooth it out. Nice and smooth. Do it. Just nice and smooth. There you go. Yeah, once this thing is smooth, then you should be able to find it however you want. But it is actually pretty smooth right now. If we can do some flower designs. I don't think we're going to be able to do the designs like that, right? Anything else I need to work on? I'm liking everything I see. Another hand here. I got a little bit of damage there. Got this a little bit. Got way too much. What I'm gonna do with this guy? I'm gonna jump over to the skeleton score. I said I'm gonna make a flame score, right? Let's go ahead and start working on that guy. So here's the mold we have. The mold we're gonna fit in there best we can. I'll make it a nice ball. And full mold. Pull it out. They're pretty good. Throw more gasoline on it. Oh my gosh. Very haunted, haunted type of skull. Let's try it again. A little bit more gasoline this time. Just break the hand. Or did it off? Okay. Make it nice and big.
this again. Right? Now let's see if we can pull it back out. Not much better this time. Stretch. Vaseline is key here. Need that Vaseline to make it nice and uh, not sticky. Okay. Pretty much what we have here is we have a somewhat of a skull. Like an alien skull. It's so cool. <laughs> Unfortunately, I think it's missing face. This thing made the skull look like it didn't get the teeth very right well. Okay. I have another mold. Let's try this one. See what happens. First time I've ever done this. Okay. Not when it comes. Come back out here. Go. Get it. Coming is coming. a skull kind of but again it looks like a deformed alien skull I'm not sure why it's not working very well eyes definitely work now we got more of the teeth yeah it looks like we need more I think we just need more putty I think that's the problem an earthworm gem All right, well, I think that's enough sculpting for me tonight. It's not working for me, unfortunately. So I'm going to sign off and 
Maybe I'll play a video game or something like that, or watch a movie with my girl. I hope you all have a Friday night, and see you on Sunday. Bye.